Okay guys, this is uh, this is day three of this suspension lift kit uh, installation, and uh, we have flipped the truck around, brought the front end of the garage first, and we're about ready to work on this uh, this front end here. Now, um, the rear end was a big pain in my ass, so I really hope the front end is going to be a little bit easier, but I, I doubt it. So um, hopefully this lift kit installation doesn't take me an entire week to complete. Because, to be honest, I'm really just getting tired of having to beat the crap out of everything, cut everything to bits, and, you know, just destroy everything to get this suspension off. I mean, it's not our country's fault. Uh, I just kind of wish they would have packaged my extra bolts in, you know, for the uh, the eyelets on the leaf springs and replacement bolts for the shocks. I mean, come on, guys. This is a 40-year-old truck. You guys know it's going to do this stuff. So, um... But let's let's take a start on this front end. The first thing I'm gonna do is heat these bolts up, see if we can get them off one piece. But I highly doubt it. So um, let's give it a shot.
All right, guys, this is day four of putting a suspension uh, lift kit on. Um, before I turned the camera on, I stripped off the rest of the uh, suspension components, the shocks, and then the U-bolts off of the uh, passenger side uh, front leaf. Um, Got to replace my steering linkage here. Uh, both the tie rods are gone. But uh, other than that, everything's going pretty smooth at the front end. So uh, let's just keep on moving. Oh, and uh, one more thing. The lower steering arm here will not come off for nothing. I beat on it for a half hour with a sledgehammer. Um, used pry bars. I've heated it up to glowing red and it still hasn't come off. So at this point, I'm pretty well over trying to get that off. I'm just going to leave it on there. And um, I guess what I'm going to do is just buy a drop fitment arm. Uh, and we'll, we'll do that instead. So, uh, but let's keep moving. I'm going to put the uh, new leaves on, new shocks, and then um, I'll get the new tie rods and stuff uh, later on. That'll be a separate video. And uh, yeah, let's go.
guys. Now, uh, got the leaf springs on, I got them all bolted down, everything's bolted in. All I'm gonna have to do now is put the two shocks on, and um, I can put this tire on, we'll drop it off, and take it outside and uh, have a better look at it. Now, uh, one thing to um, note here, I couldn't get these uh, toy bars bolted in because I need the drop brackets and uh, the bolt's too far ahead to get it in there. Um, might have a uh, custom homemade uh, drop bar bracket video uh, coming out soon, so uh, stay tuned for that. But um, until I get the, uh, the drop brackets or my make them, this won't be attached. And uh, also, the, uh, the steering arm over there isn't attached right now. Rough Country has provided everything for this project. The only thing I'm missing is uh, a washer, and um, that's it. I found everything I needed. Some stuff was kind of heading like that big uh, U-bolt for the front axle over here, the differential. Um, I was hard to find that because it was behind in the box, behind the shocks, so I couldn't really see it when I was pulling it on. I thought they actually sent me a, a kit without four U-bolts. So, um, but. Nope, they, uh, they sent everything. The only thing I was missing is one washer, and I'm not going to really complain about that. Um, but if I could get this off, the kit would have gone a lot smoother. But um, I guess what I'm going to have to do is sell the, uh, the arm that comes with the kit. I'm going to sell that, and I'm going to buy myself a uh, drop pit in my arm because this is unacceptable here. This won't work for when I'm driving down the freeway at 80 miles an hour or whatever. So um, but let's get these shocks on, and uh, let's take it outside.
All right, guys. Now uh, we're just gonna be uh, having a look at this truck after I put the lift kit on it. I'm pretty happy with uh, how high I got. It's a little bit taller than I thought it would be, but won't be a big problem. We're actually gonna make some steps for it here in the future uh, once I get closer to making it done. Um, see, I got the fenders there, and I got the front clip over near the garage. Uh, that stuff's already gonna go. Just have to paint it. This is a custom-made D-ring I have built for it. But overall, the truck came out pretty nice. I like that it's got brand new leaf all the way around. I like it's got new shocks all the way around. The truck's nice and tall. I should be able to trail ride with it pretty easy. I don't think I'm going to go any higher than this. I've already got two inches of body lift, and uh, now with this four inches of uh, suspension lift, I think it'll be just fine. The leaf springs that came with this kit were very nice. Um, the front ones don't have the bushings in them when you get them. So you got to put those in, but uh, that wasn't very hard to do at all. Um, it does stretch the brake lines. You will need to get new brake lines all the way around, extend the brake lines. And uh, uh, for the back, the axle in the back and the front, both of the breather tubes actually snapped off when I lowered the axle down. And uh, you're also going to need to do something about your emergency brake lines if you have those. I personally am not going to put them back on, but uh, one thing to kind of remember when you get this kit is that these bolts, you're going to need to get these bolts for the eyelets on the uh, leaf springs. They don't come with it. And the, uh, the um, leaf spring link there in the back, that is going to have to come forward because when I got the old ones off of this one, they were relaxed so much that that was pretty much up and down. And you want to have some angle to that so the axle can move. The leaf spring can move up and down. And uh, but here's the, here's me getting in this truck. It's um it's a little bit tougher than when it was before, but that was expected. Uh, I'm very happy with how high it sits. I can see everything nice and good out the front. It's approximately 30 inches to the top of the door frame. And this is the 350 engine I just got. Uh, I paid 170 dollars for it, 70 for the engine, 100 dollars for the heads. The heads have been remilled. Um, the only thing I gotta do the block is I gotta put a new cam in it and I gotta get a, uh, a rebuild kit for it. Um, three pistons were having some low compression, but other than that, all I gotta do is slap some uh, carburetor on there, get the heads put back on, push rods, and all the other little things that come with it. The 350 rebuild will be in the next part of the series. So uh, I, got, I hope you guys stick around, and um, please rate, comment, subscribe for more. Go check out our YouTube channel for more awesome videos, and uh, go check out our Patreon page. The more you donate, the faster I can build this truck, and the uh, faster Spencer can get some stuff for his Jeep, we can keep this channel moving. But I want to thank you for watching. Y'all guys have a good day.